I was Mrs. Stokes' chauffeur mm -hmm. in Philadelphia. She lived in the richest part of the city. The square itself was surrounded by very expensive apartment buildings. It was the number one address to have in Philadelphia. My dad had a construction company, and we did a lot of work in Barclay. And that's how we ran into the Stokes, and they had us do their renovations. Very mysterious and very private. Her husband, John, would come out and talk to me, and I would speak to Marion through the door. She would open the door maybe an inch and talk to me. I would say it was three or four months before I actually met her. We were getting close to finishing their place when they said they would like me to start working for them, helping them do things. I was kind of shocked because, uh, you know, I'd never, I guess, been with someone that had so much stuff. They had enormous amount of furniture and archives, magazines, books. She read about 11 newspapers a day, and I don't think she ever threw one out. When I first got there, Ms. Silks didn't really talk to me. She introduced herself. She laid down what she wanted, what she expected of me. But it was no conversation. She would have the tapes going on different TVs throughout the apartment. So every TV she couldn't get to. So certain TVs, I would change the tapes. And Frank also had the TVs in the back that he was taping from. So it was a project for everybody to be doing. 